A bar at the corner of 60th and Burnham sharing surveillance video with 12 News after their cameras captured a deadly crash. The video shows a Pontiac driving toward a red light. It does not appear to break and slams into a Jeep driving through the intersection. We're stopping the video there and showing the moments right after impact. The Jeep flips on its side and hits two pedestrians standing outside, and the Pontiac knocks over a traffic pole and slams into the bar. This is a piece of the car that I can actually cannot even pull it out. Marcus Gorsick owns the bar and sees reminders of the crash that killed 18-year-old Marixa Valle Zepeda and injured both drivers and the two pedestrians. You walk in and you every see Every time, them. every morning, every day when I walk by, you know, people driving by, they see stuff like that, you know, my, my customers, they come here, they see that, you know, um, it's bad. Prosecutors say 20-year-old Jason Zamora drove the Pontiac. He's charged with second-degree reckless homicide. According to the criminal complaint, police reported smelling alcohol on Zamora's breath and observed a beer can on the car's center console. It's just not fair to people that have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? And she didn't deserve to die. You know, she's 18 years old. She should be right now with the family, uh, eating dinner, watching TV, uh, doing some stuff, not be in a funeral home. It's, it's something that it's not an accident and I'm, I can't get over that. Gorsuch tells me he's planning a fundraiser for both the family of Marixa Zapeta and those injured in the crash. It's set for May 20th. Reporting in West Dallas, I'm Kendall Keyes, WISN 12 News.